Hello, my name's Professor Len Collard. I am a Wajat Noongar person and I'm going to speak to you in Noongar. Well, it gives me something to do. It gives me motivation to um, get up in the morning and pursue uh, my responsibilities and obligation as a language carrier and a man that uh, manufactures um, cutage. Cutage and beer in Bidi, Nunokta Yan Nan. This is what I do. You ask me, this is what I do. Um, so, you know, Noongar language um, from southwest Australia, um, specifically from around the uh, metropolitan area of Perth, is uh, my traditional country. And so, um, uh, as a young man, my grandfather, Yalakich Bennell, uh, charged me with the responsibility to be a language man. And he said to me, as a boy, Burwan, Abola Maman, Yoga, Wajala Nyunga, Wanga Murangin, Balang Yakulin, Janangin Ni, Nuna Dalangin. Burwan Maman, Nunok Janangin Nija. And he said, When you become a man, this is what happened, is that people will come and speak to you because you're to be the, uh, the Buddha of, the, um, uh, of the language of, the, of, of our homelands. And it's your responsibility, grandson, to take charge and carry this, um, this capacity. So um, that's what led me to study and um, you know, become a professor at the University of WA in the School of Indigenous Studies, where I um, basically work on um, the, um, the science and the knowledge of, of, of Noongar. Well, I think it was in my mum's womb when it first happened, but um, you know, throughout your whole life you're being trained and you're being um, engaged and you're being um, charged trying to take that responsibility. So there was never a time where suddenly uh, you know, the penny dropped and, oh, now I'm going to be a Noongar language expert. I mean, that was, that was part and parcel of, you know, growing up, basically. That all people in the Noongar lands, whether they Noongars or not, speak in the language of our country. And I think that would be a... Um, something to see in the future. So in a sense, uh, whilst we keep English as a global notion, uh, or um, we, we understand that our version of English is actually Australian, so one, I'd like to get more Australians to learn how to speak Australian, which then segue them down to the local regional parts of Aboriginal Australia to be able to speak in the language of the lands where they live. So for example, if you uh, live in Kalgoorlie, well, I think that you'd learn to speak in the language of the uh, Wangais in Kalgoorlie. Or if you live in, um, um, you know, Manang country in Albany, you speak Manang Noongar as a part of your everyday speech. So we start to Australianise um, our uh, capacity to communicate in the words and the meanings of this land. That's a real Australian story and that's a vision that, that I would love to see in five years' time. So when I speak to you next time, Kaya nguni ya kuni nywa nuno kada karijen nganda nicha birning dalang ngan nyunga wa. So you at English, no more English. We speak Australian. That would be my vision that I'd like to see in five or ten or twenty years.